Uh, hey guys, how you doing today? My name is uh, Corey Jarman, and I'm in Dr. Storr's 1 o'clock um, Physics 2 class, and this is going to be my Physics 2 project. So today I'm going to be answering one of our old questions in homework 5 from Ohm's Law. Question is uh, question 7, so it's a four-part problem. So to begin, uh, let's first define what Ohm's Law is. So Ohm's Law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points. More specifically, Ohm's law states that the R in this relation, which is the resistance, is constant, independent of the current. So to simplify that, we can just say uh, V is equal to IR, which is a voltage equal to the current times the resistance. So question one asks us, an object with a resistance of 34 ohms has 170 voltage applied to it. How much electric current is going through this object? So first, let's write down what we know. So we know that the R is 34. And the voltage is 170. So the one thing we don't know is what is the I? So, in our equation, V equals IR, we just solve for I. So, V is equal to IR. So, to solve for I, we would, just most, we would just divide both sides by the resistance. So, in our new equation, it would be I is equal to VR. So, now we just plug in what we know. So this will be equal to 170 over 34. And you just divide that and it will be equal to 5 amperes. And that's the, the solution to part 1. Write that over here. So now we know that I is equal to 5A. Part two asks us how much power is being produced by the object. So for part two, we will use our second equation, which is P is equal to IV. So I'm going to rewrite this. And this one is simple because in our previous equation, we just saw it for I. So we plug in I, which is 5 amperes. And also, we have V from our previous equation, which is known, which is 170 volts. You multiply that, and you get 850, and our units are going to be W for watts. And that's your solution for um, problem two, or part two. And now we're going to add that to our um, known section, so... W is now equal to 850, I mean, whoops, P is equal to 850 watts. So, part three says, <clears throat> excuse me, part three says, how much electric energy will be needed to operate this object for 21 hours? So now we have a new variable, which is T. Which is, and we're going to use that as uh, 21 hours. So 21H. And we're going to use the third equation. Which is P is equal to ET. But in this equation, the thing that we don't know is E. So we're going to do like we did in our first part. And change the equation. So we're going to solve for E. So the way we're going to do that, let me rewrite it first. It just multiply each side by T. So and that's gonna be E is equal to PT. And now we're just plugging in what we know. So P is eight hundred and fifty watts. And our T is 21H. 
But our third equation, our third part also asks us to put the equation in kilowatts per hour. So we need to convert this by multiplying the whole answer by one kilowatt over 1000 watts. So now we get our answer, which should be 17.85 kilowatts per hour. So I'm going to add this up here to our known section, our E is equal to 17.85 kilowatts per hour. And now we have part four. And part four asks us, what is the cost of operating this object for 21 hours at a rate of seven, seven cents per kilowatt per hour? So now we have a rate, which is our R, I'll write it down here, so we won't confuse it with our first R. Is equal to seven cents per kilowatt per hour. So, in this equation, all we would have to do is multiply our rate by our previous part, which is our E up here, 17.85 kilowatts per hour, because this is how much energy we would need to operate this object for 21 hours. So, the equation would be C is equal to RE and C being the cost so that's a R times <clears throat> RE and our answer would be 1.2495 1 rounded to a dollar and about 25 cents for our cost. <clears throat> so that's how much it'll cost to operate this object at 7 cents per kilowatt per hour for 21 hours. And that's problem 7.